A piece of history stolen from a Green Country church has been found. News on 6's Tess Monty is on the story near Westport in Pawnee County to show us why it might be a while before the bell is back in place outside the church. It's music to Jim Foy's ears. That's a good bell, huh? This is the historic bell that belongs to the Keystone Baptist Church, the same bell that once hung outside the old church building that had to be torn down with the construction of Keystone Lake. The tone on that bell is really beautiful. It's an excellent tone, and we like to ring it. But it's been pretty quiet around the church lately, since Mother's Day weekend, to be exact. I was shocked. I could not believe it. That's when Minister Jim Foy learned the bell had been stolen. We've been stolen from several times, and it's crazy what some of the stuff is that they've taken. But I, I don't understand that. News on 6 told you about the missing bell earlier this month, and within 10 days of our report, the bell was back. Looks great. Church member Mark Deet says someone found the bell in the middle of a gravel road in Terrellton. He believes the thieves dumped it there after seeing our story. They realized that that bell was hot and they wanted to get rid of it. While the church is certainly grateful to have the bell back, it is missing one piece, the wheel that you pull to make the bell ring. Once we recover that, that bell will be working again, 200 plus years old. In the meantime, the bell is being stored in a safe place, ready and waiting to ring out again back where it belongs. It's a part of our church, it's a part of our history, it means a lot to us, and it's beautiful, so we just are really grateful. Grateful, but also forgiving, because this minister practices what he preaches. We forgive the guy that took the bell. And that's what this church is about, is, is we believe that God forgives us. Church members are asking whoever has that missing piece to drop it off at the church. They say they'd even be willing to pay to get it back. On the scene on the story in Pawnee County, Tess Monty, News on 6.